Oh, welcome back. Why was my recording interrupted that time? I just started the fuck up. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't yeah, like her. I was worried. How was it? Who is she? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. Oh, yeah, I, I, I just want to be done with her. Just leave. That's not an option. Just Lady leave. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. <laughs> ninth-born? Sir, Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Whoa! Uh, what? <laughs> it's true. Whoa! And over in Martell... The Red Viper. Viper. He is bisexual. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is doing it for a while. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I think. <laughs> Perhaps you might have to Good boy, Charlie. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to get him riled. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, God. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? You know? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd marry anyone. If it helped my family. Right. Of course. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the south. I don't trust her. Whoa. Char that was fucked. She just said I might... I would consider making you my handmaid. <laughs> supposed to be friend. What a bitch. Can we talk about the, uh... The queen was pleased by your display, Mara. Can we talk about the way she spells her I'm name? Over. Which one? Sarah? Marjorie. Marjorie? M-A-R-G-A-E-R-Y? Marjorie! <laughs> There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. Yeah. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Yes. That's kind of true. Get my chair. <laughs> I, I did have a favor. I'm asking for her help. Was help me, Marjorie. Help, help me, Marjorie. I don't trust that. I don't like her. It's about my family. I trust her. She was part of a weird love triangle in the show. She was engaged to the Baratheon son, but he was gay, so she let him have sex with her brother. I think my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within a week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Oh god, this is gonna bite me in the ass. That is no small request. But the question Especially is, how now. bad? This is bad. I already know Talking it's bad. Knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. 
And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. This is going to bite me in the butt so bad. I shouldn't have asked. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ooh. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this if your foot weren't so urgent. You said that already. I was just thinking too. <laughs> We're just gonna replay all the choices. I'll make your request, Ooh. but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my She's lady. gonna help you out. I will send a raven to my family at once. Look at that conniving little bitch. Are you telling me that the other handmaiden is bad? No, she just looking conniving. Did you see her wringing her hands and her head down? Sure. Wolfswood? Home to a lot of wood and a lot of wolves. I figured. That's never good to hear. Ah, uh, you get to see how fucked up Ramsey really is. In this era's graphics. I like seven L's. So I lost the horse. He's in the show. Oh. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. Or all that bloody noise. Like a drowning cat. I thought he never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Why am I doing this? <laughs> he does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Lord? Oh, come on! It's a twig snapping in the middle of the forest. What do you think it is? Everyone's so paranoid. Hey. I'm fucked. I'm fucked! You hear that? I know I heard something. I hope I made the right decision. And then you just get your throat slit. Never mind. Oh, look well, at that. Seen enough time already. I've seen enough movies. <laughs> Plus, I don't know where you would have run to. Yeah, I have no idea. Guaranteed that was a game over. So other than the uh, arrow to the eye, I haven't died. Yeah. That was a spectacular death, though. <laughs> it was. You sniffed when you should have scurried. Why do I have to do this? I don't want to go this way. I want to go. I want to just go to the wall. Just <laughs> send me to the wall. I want to go to the peaceful, nice wall. Ah! Love those eyes. Love that face. For this era's graphics, it's not bad. But oh god. Oh god. What's amazing is that's the only scene you had to be in there. You're back to Ethan. Lord Ethan! God damn it. As I was saying, you are young. Yes. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Yes. Thank you. But 300 Chisel generations Jesus. of Forest of Lords <laughs> stand behind you. Can we talk about the fact that the hair is not even, like, dynamic? It's just, like, a patch on him? Yep. 
Hair doesn't move at all. Who sees back the river from the right it's like Lego hair. What do they call my father? Except at least Lego hair makes sense. <laughs> he was fair and wise. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. That's fair. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. No. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Can I pick anyone? I want the guy that we just got rid of. I want him as my <laughs> carrot. Yeah. Bring him back. Lord Ethan. Next. Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Ooh. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I had no wish to die. All right. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's right. I've a family right. defeat. We've got two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. Leave the poor man alone. Yeah, you shouldn't be beating him, first you know, off. Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> Calm yourself or together we'll survive. Together we'll survive sounds stronger. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. He might if they run out of food too. You address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. How may not be the time for harsh punishment? The men are on edge as it is. They need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their law will not permit it. We can send him to the war. The crowd was on his side a minute ago, but now they're quickly turning on him. Do it, Cole. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Technically, you're guilty. Technically, you're not innocent. My lord, my family depends on me. Oh, he can work without fingers. Yeah, but that's a little brutal. And I can't show. I can't show him mercy. I know that. This is no timer. Yeah. What do you think? I'm thinking send him to the wall. Send him. He can hang out, Garrett. Exactly. I figure it's like the. The least painful option, because taking three fingers, you're, you're damning him to three fingerless life. At least in the wall, he can live, he can fight, fucking be mad. And if you show mercy, it's gonna not bode well for a lot of people. So, punishment is I fair. You to the wall, where you will join the night's watch. No, please, my lord, my family. Without me, they'll die. We'll take care of them. Yeah, they can live in, in the in the castle. They'll take your job, actually. Well, what was I supposed to do? I feel like they would have remembered your judgment regardless. The Lord so. must out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me. Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrod there and take his anger out on the porch. Oh, that guy can't beat up Garrod. You heard what the thief said. Yeah. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. I get it, a sentinel tree. And they harvest wood. Someone you can rely on. No I get the it. Circumstance. 
possessing wisdom. Ah. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in I want to give it to him. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Why can't I make him it? I think you can ask him, or you say, what if I chose you or something like that? I did see that answer. option, but... You get to talk to him again about it, don't worry. What if I just go directly to talk to him? Yeah, make a blind choice. Maester or take one. <laughs> Why is there an option to go to the tower? I think mom or your sister's up in the tower or something. Ooh. Such a slow walk. Why isn't there a run option? Should just cut to a cutscene at that point. Oh go? my god! Oh, never mind. I thought someone was up in the tower with you. Really? Really? This is what's. Oh, that was so unnecessary. I would like to talk to him, but just press X. You can talk to him. But can I back out of it? Sure. I don't see why not. B's the universal yes, button. No, it's not. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? So you can just say not yet. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. Okay. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of her ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. That's a lot. It is can often be a lot. by gifts and gold. Why? I yeah. want to make him it. Well, maybe at the dinner you can choose him. I make myself sentinel. Look at the food. Looks like a slaughtered pig. Oh, Duncan. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We hmm. can withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. Oh. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can small folk? It's not the kind of like a dick move. Before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding hmm. fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Hmm. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Hmm. So his worry is food. Which is fair. <sighs> hmm. Or should I say lord? Who are you? Oh. I saw what you did today. Hello. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insists. Interesting. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. 
just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. A nightmare made real. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Hmm. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. Yeah, this is... I'm told how much Jews are sent to them. <sighs> what do I do? I may be so bold, so Royland is the man. Really? You'd be a fine choice. And I trust him. Why so Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men. I'm ordering strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Yes, I'm okay with this because I need to know. Because I'm not sure what decision to make. <laughs> oh. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always that was a weird face. That else. was a weird face. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. I don't really right know what Lady Marjorie will be able to do you. from King's Landing, though. I never understood that part. I saw what you did to that man. Like, just write a letter to Ramsay, be like, you "Hey, get angry don't be a dick." This would have been a good time to see. It. What? I can't afford any more <laughs> she wanted her me to be mad at him. She the one that said, "Don't change." I know. I know. And that wasn't your fault. This. It's my responsibility. Oh my God, this game. People want me to lead. They need me to. I think its purpose is just to make you feel bad. Ethan, please. That's very precise. Should I name as my sentinel? Yeah. It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts him. Of course. So Raven is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Yes. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Duncan's my man. Unless Duncan. I can make what's his face. We'll find out. If I can make the maester. To the dinner we go. To the dinner. So you're telling me that once I engage this, this is the dinner? My lord. Yep. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? I guess I'll make that decision next time. Bum, bum, bum. bum. Ha ha. What ho? We got this. Alright, we're easily here. Uh, episode that is the first episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah.